it's a varied practice really. Um, half of it really deals with commercial real estate and redevelopment, repositioning of assets, typically in an urban or a suburban core area. Everything from you know classic downtown real estate projects, multi-story projects, multifamily, you know, mixed use, commercial office, things of that nature. The other part of it is just dealing with, you know, institutional property owners, you know, whether it be retailers that have a chain of different sites, they need to reposition their things to accommodate the new business model, helping those navigate the, uh, the land use controls and the zoning controls and trying to find a viable way forward for them. Or large property owners that have had a property devoted to one use, and as the culture has changed, that use is really no longer either appropriate there or higher and better uses come along and helping them to reposition that property and you know take it through the planning process, take it through the zoning process, you know, and working with the community a lot, you know, working with elected officials, you know, appointed officials, planning commission members, things like that. And the projects we're doing are, you know, a multi-story, large commercial projects, mixed use projects, everything from an urban core to a suburban, you know, town center type project. Uh, we've done industrial projects. Uh, the other part of what we do is we're very heavily involved in infrastructure. And that's both from a standpoint of public-private partnerships and also, you know, with municipal clients as well. We are, we represent a very large water and sewer authority in Virginia. We also have worked on very large um, utility projects, including green energy projects, you know, dozens and dozens of solar projects at this point. I came to being Kenny, it was kind of blurred here by some other friends who've kind of been, reached the same point in their career where you kind of have your own practice, you know what that practice should look like, you know what that, you know, how that practice should be and that, that, that business should be appropriately priced. And, you know, my, my case was coming from a, a much larger firm, and that's been the case of a lot of folks too. And, you know, those were all great places. You know, this, all, this was a vehicle that allowed me to kind of, frankly, a little more flexibility and reasonable pricing, you know, you know, a little more personal service, you know, you're not held hostage to a, to a business model that gives you minimal contact with clients because you're concerned about billing concerns and stuff like that. When you get to the point where, you know, your clients are also your friends, you know, and you can just have a good, honest dialogue and relationship. Yes, you're exploring different projects, you're considering things, you're what not to do. The firm has the infrastructure to be able to handle that work. And more importantly, has the, I'll call it the, the overall construct of the firm. It's such that you can do it in a much more reasonably priced, you know, and effective way of managing these kinds of projects.